So this is the US Nationals this year, the 2022 unknown. I've picked a version some of the US boys had uh, drawn up and I've made a few alterations to the connectors to suit me. And I also added a negative snap to the tail slide just to practice those vertical snapping tail slides more, which, you know, I find them quite problematic. A couple of um, tricky, interesting figures. Figure one, wanted to do that at the beginning of the sequence and set up. So I had plenty of speed and do it center box in front of the judges. And it's the hardest figure there. Uh, oh, that and obviously um, figure four, which is Rob Holland's figure. That is super clever. It's tricky. The uh, You're under a lot of negative G after you do the multiple rolls at the beginning of the sequence uh, figure. And then you've got that pulling all the way around on the goldfish back up to the 45 up, setting that 45, getting the three quarter and room three or four accurate, drawing line lengths and making sure the 45s match and capping out. It's a super tough figure, 80 plus K. Uh, he's a smart man putting that in. We've also got rolling circle in the middle of the sequence. Not my preferred position to put one. I'd prefer them at the end in an unknown, but you know, it is um, there due to necessity. It actually worked well when I flew the program. The only other uh, issue, I think, uh, figure 12 is an interesting figure, and I'll, I'm looking forward to see how, I, how well I fly that particular figure. But all things considered, it, it was a, a challenging sequence and quite a fun flight. So one of the reasons why I love flying unlimited air, uh, arresty aerobatics is, is you know, pinning these sequences up and getting out there and seeing how I go. It's the, uh, one of the great joys of, of, of owning an extra and flying aerobatics. So uh, let's jump in the cockpit and go and fly the uh, sequence and just see how it all pans out, I'll, uh, I'll commentate the sequence uh, as we go. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers, Paul. Okay, I'm giving myself a little bit of room on the entry here. It's a uh, y-axis entry um, inverted uh, with a push-up, you know, middle of the box with three-quarter outside snap um, and the pullover into wind. So you've really got to give yourself some time to get a nice accurate setup for this. Um, plenty of speed inverted, probably here about 200 plus knots. You know, wash off a little bit of speed as you're moving across the box horizontally. And there's a push up center box, or so just slightly upwind of center box. Three quarter neg snap went well. Trying to float that first part of the loop and probably could have blended that a little more um, maybe a tad flat across the top probably could have pulled the bottom of that loop a little tighter and there's the one and a half but overall a good figure don't have a lot of speed here because I, I don't know why I got off the gas a little bit pulling around that loop got to get into this quickly which I did um, the points weren't too bad for the four of four but combination of those two figures you don't have a lot of speed for the four or four so you've got to be on it fast snapping right here for the one and a half that went well um, you'll see me pause flicking both ways and neg flicking both ways on this flight all part of the uh, practice um, of that into the connector um, really just uh, an opportunity to get myself ready position myself across the box I tend to not focus more on where I am and having a bit of a break. I've had to drive a much longer line after this half roll because I want to get up the other end of the box. But setting up for that monster Rob Holland figure. So I'm pulling up at the bottom end of the box, uh, the downwind end, setting up for the uh, Rob Holland figure, the four half rolls, double roll combo. And this is challenging because you don't want to get the speed up too high, that third point was pretty dodgy. Because um, you know you got this big push downwards and I was already probably doing 140 knots 
horizontal before I had to push down. So conscious of that, set the 45, looks a tad shallow from there. Um, the snap went pretty good. Um, snap left from there, positive, and uh, it's quite a natural snap. Here's where you really got to be on it. Set the 45, three quarter roll, slightly over, and then I've carried that those unders or well, as a result of over rolling earlier and the line after was way shorter and probably shallow so you know there's a reason why rob put that figure in because it's mega high k i think it's in excess of 80k and there's a lot going on um connector into a pretty basic um mandatory figure uh again positioning is good bottom end of the box into the four of four no, a little bit of a wobble there, but no major dramas at all. Um, into the roller, which is interesting. I don't. I usually like to do rollers in unknowns at the end of the sequence, but um, this one didn't go too badly actually. Probably too much delay there on the hesitation. Got a bit hung up there, and the roll rate was a bit s slow there. Sped up a bit there, and then the inside roller back towards the judges and finishing nicely into wind so and positioning was good so um, interesting I found myself up in the stratosphere here after um, the roller and uh, subsequently in this connector found myself you know again this will be a short line and then a long line because I'm trying to get the thing down in the box to go into the next mandatory figure downwind got to get into this quickly probably a tad shallow on the two of two in terms of the 45 judging by the, the subsequent pull the vertical but the fit you know the the rolls are good stall turn i've gotten off the gas a little bit on the up line to try and get the airplane down again and that's a left foot pause flick I'm off the gas trying to get some, get myself down in the box again into another mandatory figure. This is the half snap, there's the line, quite a long line because I had a lot of speed. There's the half flick, match that line length. Get off the gas to give myself room for the four of four, set the line. One, two, three, four. That was pretty nice into another connector trying to pull myself to the right a little bit here to get myself back over that dam and creek line there with all the rain we've had there's water sort of everywhere now and this gives you a lot of time these connectors i mean pretty dodgy half roll there but it gives you a lot of time to because you reposition yourself in the box and get yourself comfortable um, to go into the next mandatory figure. Absolutely love the horizontal S. Now, the next figure is a bit of a doozy. Four of eight, one way, neg snap the other. That was nice. Really, actually, it was a really nice combo. Quite enjoyed that. Got to keep pushing hard here, get it back up to the vertical, and get into the rolls quickly. Don't have a lot of speed and then push to cap possibly slightly shorter line after but it was a pretty short line to begin with so probably would have might have been okay from the ground one and a quarter spin back into win went well positioning's great um in terms of box positioning i'm just maybe 150 meters uh upwind of center box Pulling towards the judges here, setting the line, three quarter roll, pull out downwind, and super happy with my box positioning here. No major dramas at all. I've added the, now I'm upwind there, um, three quarter neg snap, a little bit bobbled, um, difficult figure. Into the tail slide, torqued ever so slightly and 
pulling our cross box towards the judges up the upwind end so that we would have got a good look at that from side on. And that was the end of the sequence. Nice actual sequence. It was uh, quite a challenging flight and I really enjoyed it.